good understanding. Pushing it around nicely. There's a big shout. But uh, the umpire has not moved at all. So the fact that uh, some of this appealing is going on does tell you that there's a little bit of uh, a worry in the Pakistan camp. Lots of pressure on Peter Parker. Stood his ground. Step wide ball. Here. Well, it certainly wasn't an outside edge. I think it may have been, would, make, would have been an underside edge. Just the toe of the bat. No one can certainly can't believe it. Either could was in that ground. He followed down right the length of the wicket. one of the problems you have when you appeal ridiculously it's a bit like the boy crying wolf when it really matters you might uh, miss out look at this one look at that one well there's definitely a noise there definitely a noise that said if it did anything it hit the underside of the bat or the toe of the bat was he Matt Graham he can't believe it Justin Langan looking down the wicket in that background, bitterly disappointed. It's got past the left hand of first slip. And the captain is on edge, and uh, that usually carry, carries through to the team. They can always feel the tension, the captain. Mind you, he's perhaps a little angry at the moment as well. It's tense. This one, just like pushing at this one. Oh, and it was almost a chance. The moment was him at first slip. The tough one, it was low to his left. Yeah, the sort of catches that can make a difference. Was he Mac Graham? He knows he's, he's desperate for this wicket. He knows if he can break this partnership, he can go a long way to winning the game. Gilchrist. The fieldsman surrounded it down there. A lot of frustration on that man's face at the moment. Running in a lot quicker. He's binded the ball at the moment. See there, a couple of deep breaths. This one's the short, wide one, and Adam Gilchrist says, Thank you, I'll have a, I don't mind him there. Man in Big third man ends up doing well, actually. Does reasonably well in the end. Cuts it back to two. And that runs absolutely smack through mid-wicket. So was him Akram just uh, losing the plot a bit at the moment? It's five for 244. You get an indication of the fact that uh, Wazim Akram is unsettled at the moment by what happened a couple of overs ago. Swiped his jumper. That was at the end of the last over. He didn't take it from the umpire. Took it from one of his own players. Still not trusting himself. Uh, an over later, he gave it to Ejaz to give to the umpire. I'm out of that because there's a huge moment in this game with you on strike. Let's have a listen to this. <laughs> Say nothing. There's a big shout. But uh, the umpire has not moved at all. So the fact that uh, some of this appealing is going on does tell you that there's a little bit of uh, a worry in the Pakistan camp. One more look at that. It's definitely a noise there of some sort. Pakistanis believe they've made the breakthrough. Quick look in the snickometer here. Big noise there. About the time it passes the toe of the bat. Hit the feeling Justin Langer may have got away with one there. 
was uh, Mark Taylor there commentating, relatively new to the job. Ian Healy's second test match as a commentator. Gilly had just taken over the gloves from you. I think we can safely say Pakistan would have had that one reviewed. Yeah, good, good call. The technology probably would have proven you to be out there, Jail. What do you thought? Well, because it's the 10-year rule, or probably a little more yeah. than the 10-year rule, I've always denied it and said it was a clicky bat handle. I even told my father, because I didn't want a, a clicky bat handle, but truth is I absolutely smashed it. Oh. And you, you can't deny now with the modern technology. That is a scoop. That is a scoop for Channel 9. All right, now let's pick up the...